Hey guys, welcome to bikini prep update week nine. This puts me five weeks out from my first show, six weeks out from my second, and I believe, okay. Hello? This puts me five, six, and 10 weeks out. So I'm feeling a lot better than I was last week. And of course we have Rex in the background chomping on a bone, so what else is new? Last week, I wasn't really in a routine yet because I had started a new position. My hours were crazy. I started working out at like five in the morning again, which I used to do, but now I'm back at it. And honestly, I kind of missed it. Like the gym is totally dead and I like having the gym to myself. I was in a much better place mentally this week. Also, for some reason last week, I just kept comparing myself to other people and I kind of tried to stay off Instagram and girls that are in prep and they're like, oh, I'm 12 weeks out and they're like leaner than me and I'm five weeks out and I'm like, oh my God, I have so much work to do. I was doing that a lot last week and this week I kind of cut that out and I felt a lot better. I kind of came to the realization that like I am where I am and I'm gonna work my butt off for five weeks and wherever I end up being then is where I am. <laughs> like I can't do anything about it now except for work as hard as I can. I've worked so hard to get to this point. Whatever I bring to the stage, I'm gonna be proud of. So if I'm not as lean as I can possibly be, I have another show five weeks after that that I know that I will lean out a lot more for. So I'm really not stressing out about it or trying not to. And I lost two pounds this week. So that kind of shows you like if you stop stressing about things that you can't control, good things will happen. That's not the only factor that played into that, I'm sure, but I think it does make a big difference when you're not beating up on yourself for an entire week or an entire five weeks or ever, however long that you have to go. You just have to be really proud of where how far you've already come and realize that you are making progress and I see that in my pictures every week. So I'm in a good place, I'm happy. Um, let's see, this week workouts were tough, still doing five rounds of hit, three rounds of lists, and I l had two off weeks from lifting this week with two double cardio days. So that was nice too, having like two full days off lifting. I feel like I got some really good recovery in. I wasn't as sore as I've been the past few weeks, which was nice. But basically like I'm just staying busy and not giving myself enough time to freak out. So if you fill your day, by the end of the day, you'll be so tired and you'll just get up and do it again the next day and you'll not have time to sit and whine and cry and freak out. So that's my theory on that. Also, I had a wonderful weekend. I, today, Monday actually, is my birthday. Getting old, guys, getting old. Um, so my sister and a couple of my friends came over for dinner and we were gonna go bowling, but apparently bowling's really popular these days and we couldn't get a lane. So we went to Dave and Buster's and I played the mother load of skee-ball. Turns out I'm quite good at skee-ball. I hit the jackpot twice. Not to brag. So that was a good time. This week is nuts. I'm gonna try to vlog for you guys cause tomorrow I have a full day and then I'm going to pose. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm going to Columbus for work. So I'm going to be packing meals for, it's really just like two full days cause we leave like Wednesday afternoon and get back Friday evening. So I'm going to be going to a different gym there in Columbus, which I'm excited for like a change of scenery. That should be fun, but it's gonna be busy and I have to pack for a few days. Um, so I already have like my chicken and stuff prepared for that and it's in the freezer already individually packaged. Shout out to Elle Fitbody because I just watched one of her traveling, like sticking to your macros traveling on prep videos. And for some reason, I never thought to pre-package your proteins and stick them in the freezer. Like, duh, I always just try to pack a bunch of ice in them, but if you freeze them, they just thaw out slowly and then they're ready to eat. I don't know how I never thought of that. So thank you for that. I have all of my proteins in the freezer and they are ready to go for all day Thursday and the majority of the day Friday. 
And then I have this really cool egg maker. It's by Cuisinart. It's like a hard boiled egg maker that I'm gonna bring with me so I can make fresh egg whites in the morning so I don't have to like drink egg whites out of a carton because that's gross. So I'll show you guys how I use that and then it'll be like a mini product review because I've never traveled with it before, so that'll be fun. Um, and then this weekend is crazy again. I have Saturday two posing sessions and Sunday a posing session. Um, obviously I need to work on posing, so that's why I'm kind of packing those type of things in right now. And I think that's about all the updates I have for this week. Overall, a good week. I'll show you my progress pictures. prep week nine i will see you in week 10 if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful at all i'll see you in the next one bye